With May being ALS Awareness Month, Naperville News 17's Christine Lena learned more about the latest treatment for the neurological disease. Every day, an average of 15 people are newly diagnosed with ALS, and around 20,000 Americans are currently living with it. ALS is a neurological condition that affects the motor system, the nerves that help with movement, and it's characterized by degeneration of the upper motor neuron and the lower motor neuron, which results in symptoms primarily of muscle weakness. The progressive disease, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, currently has no cure, and life expectancy is typically two to five years after diagnosis. For over 20 years, the only FDA-approved medication to help slow the progress of ALS has been Riluzol. But since May of last year, a new medication called Adarivone, also known as Radicava, hit the market. And this is an infusion-based medication that was studied and was shown to slow down the progression of the disease. So this is a new treatment that we are now starting to offer to people with ALS. There are several other treatment uh, avenues being pursued right now in research studies. Blood tests, MRIs, or other biomarkers can't recognize the disease, making it difficult to diagnose. I went for a run uh, in January of 16 and just out of nowhere it just I my foot felt like it had like a, a boot on it or something it was just a very strange sensation. After officially being diagnosed with ALS in March of 2017 Naperville Elsie Johnson looked at all of her possible treatment options which led her to a Daravone. She became the first patient in Illinois and one of the first in the nation to receive the IV-based medication. I'd say that the most unique feature of Elsie's case is how uh, motivated she has been um, to make sure that she is getting the right answers and getting the right treatments. Uh, and I know that she's already become a very um, positive uh, player in the ALS community. In fact, Johnson fundraised close to $45,000 last year for the ALS Association. Since starting the Adaravone infusions, she's continued to exercise, eat healthy, and take nutritious supplements. But I really do feel like um, I've been walking a little bit better. But at the same time, I did get the treadmill, and I think that has kind of brought back a little bit of muscle memory maybe, um, so it's hard to say. From stem cell therapy to cognitive studies, research continues to develop with the hope to one day find a cure for ALS. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Christine Lena. And if you'd like to do something to help support ALS research, the Greater Chicago Walk to Defeat ALS is taking place on June 2nd at Cantini Park.